Welcome back guys and um, I'm very happy to say that the garage project is about 99% done. So I want to give you a, a quick little tour here. So uh, we have four fire extinguishers here, one in each corner of the garage. Um, the shop press is here and made this little caddy for the different sleeves and, and uh, things that we use whenever we press things. Tuck that back in out of the way. Uh, we already got a little project going on the metal working bench and um, got our little uh, bench top a drill press there um, the grinder it's mounted there we can use it it's all good but um, if you pull that pin uh, that actually slides out you can remove that in case you have a real long piece of metal that's uh, that's on here or maybe you're trying to work on and then of course the bench top drill press you can just set that in the ground if it's something really big and uh, that would be easy enough we got plenty of outlets we have four there uh, so light going here here four there and we got the plasma cutter the the uh, welder torches every all that stuff's on one wall got the uh the hand cleaner station set up uh, may put like a little towel bar or something there uh, for a hand towel after you wash your hands the the water comes in right down there and uh i've got over all of our conduit done uh the electrical is done the only thing we have to do is put one little clamp on that piece of conduit up against the wall and uh, we're going to run um, a 220 circuit over and over to about there. And um, that way, if we, up the, if we upgrade the welder to a unit that runs on 220, we'll have a 220 outlet here in the shop. And um, I wish you could see the inside of this box. It did a really nice job with all the wiring and everything. It's not a rat's nest in there. And then we have a, we have a 220 circuit there. So, so we're in good shape. Um, got all the... Got the nose for the race car there. Uh, got all the, the toolboxes set up here along that wall. And um, got rid of those two windows that were here. Uh, got the, um, the air hose. And uh, that air hose, you can take that air hose out that door all the way around my trucks on the other side of that wall and um it will use almost all the hose but i can actually reach all four tires on my truck with with that hose and uh got a little uh park uh parking position there for the for the uh, engine hoist and everything got the race car set in there and then we built um well, we got the air compressor in the corner, built this little stack of uh, shelves here uh, to set some, some thing, different things on. There's all kind of different things in there. And uh, we got all of our bins organized. There's the small parts bin right here. And um, we got the larger stuff down below. And this is stuff that we don't do, use too often. And there's only a few of these larger bolts and everything. And uh, we got all the zip ties there. So if we need something, we just come over, grab a zip tie, all different sizes. Um, that's the crankshaft for this motor it's going to go uh, in there so eventually that will uh, that will be gone and we'll have a clean work area there and um, you see we got some shelving up here we got some manuals and uh, all the different chemicals that we use whenever we're doing a project and uh, there's some storage bins for just some odds and ends and different things and um, we got the workbench here and a couple transmissions we're going to be working on we've got our memory uh, cork board up and uh, got the paper towel dispenser up, another fire extinguisher, of course. And uh, we got our dual parts washing bins. And uh, this one here, you see that fluid is nasty. And uh, it actually, actually needs a little bit more. But um, um, this has a kit on it. It has a, a filter kit, which we're going to add uh, onto the other one. And also this, this hose where the parts washer fluid actually comes out the center of the hose. And this one here, the brand new one, it hasn't been touched yet. Still got the uh, the papers in there, and uh, so we are definitely going to be uh, adding some accessories onto this. We're going to add the filter onto it, as well as uh, the the brush. There's our nasty our nasty Honda um, transmission, which the outside was clean. I have to clean up the inside there a little bit. Uh, we're going to be tearing that apart. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video on how we do with that transmission. And of course, we got the race car here uh, of our wind stickers. Boom and um it's in pieces we're going to rebuild the whole front suspension so we started tearing it all apart uh found some issues um this being one of them that's yeah that's done so uh yeah we're going to be working on the race car and of course we got our harbor freight shop cart here uh we got the tools that we're using to work on 
we're going to different projects with. Uh, that's the motor that came out of the race car, and uh, that's an old Ecotec motor. I haven't figured out what we're going to be doing with that yet. It's a motor and transmission. Um, we're going to we'll figure out something. We're going to we're going to play with that a little bit. But uh, wanted to make this video and um, just kind of share with you guys um, how well it came out. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, everything is super clean and um, it's very well organized. It's really a pleasure to work in here and if you uh, if you have a garage or have a shop at home I would encourage you to just take some time make it maybe make an extra little workbench and more storage unit to stick in a corner or something to, to try and uh, basically what that does is it, it multiplies the floor space in that area. So um, if you got stuff setting all over the place you can do something like that and get it organized and then if you need it you just go over and grab it. So uh, yeah looking good. Um, very happy. Let me know what you think. The LED lights in the conduit came out beautifully. And um, yeah, just could not be happier. Just really excited. And um, I've already started doing a couple little projects, like I said, over here on the on the metal working bench. But uh, um, I would appreciate a like and, sub like and subscribe. You can do that down below. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.